update 2.6 for Affinity Suite is live for all three apps. And funny fact, they decide to update Canva app on the very same day and same time. So we can clearly see that is now under one umbrella. All right, so let's learn what's new in Affinity Designer version 2. Unfortunately, patch 2.6 was focused on Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher. So we got only some scraps for Designer. They improved Pencil 2. Pencil 2 was already improved in version 2.5. They finally fixed the problem that Pencil 2 was adding too many notes. So it was way better already, but now we got even more features. So for Auto Close, now we can decide that we want to keep it off or on but we got also something in between we can decide for example that we can auto close only new points so if i draw something using a pencil tool i can still draw an open shape a line but if i go to the beginning of the shape i'm quite close to the beginning it's automatically detect that and help me close the shape so that one something that is really really helpful and take a look we got only one two three nodes so it's it's really smooth now we can adjust that here how smooth the line should be using the slider so we can decide how many nodes we want to place if i put it back to zero and try to draw some messy shape as you can see i got multiple nodes if i put the smoothness to 100 I can even modify the existing line and the notes are removed for me thanks to this slider. So that's handy. By default, try to keep it around 50% and then we can still use stabilize as before to make our movement with this tool a bit smoother. So I'm using a mouse right now, so it's really handy to stabilize it a bit. You will get this option like you're pulling the line a bit behind the cursor. That's nothing new that was here before, but it's still a good option to use. And you may notice that two more new icons on the right side is a style panel now when we can decide that we want to use line style or we want to use the fill style. Okay, so we can kind of quickly adjust that from here without going into colors and styles. It's going to be especially handy on smaller screens. All right, so we got more improvements for pencil tool and i can say it's finally usable tool for me since version 2.5 it's finally usable and now i can use it also to make close shapes so without any changes take a look at open shape align but if i go back to beginning it's like a magnet it will snap and i got close shape so that's a really handy improvement okay and we can fill it with color quickly okay so that's a pencil tool for you in version 2.6 even better they finally fixed the problem of color picker that required to click extra so the color picker was only loading the color here and then you need to click on it to put the color in but now we've got actively select shape use the color picker done we don't need to go all the way back and click on it again Okay, so just select the object and done. We don't need those extra clicks of two. So that will improve the speed of picking colors. Especially handy because we can use the color picker outside the software to pick colors from images or from different programs. Searchable brushes. For people crazy about brushes, if you install tons of brushes, now you can use the search panel here and open up them faster so if you remember the name of the brush you can just type the name here and they will show you the brushes related to that name and as i mentioned now you don't need to just go section by section we can put the name of the brush here this will be super handy if you actually install additional brushes and work both in vector brushes but if you go back to but if you go to pixel persona and to the pixel brushes you also going to have a similar experience with that okay by the way they're all pixel brushes 
simply stretch on a vector path. And the last thing I want to mention is a stroke width tool. It's rather a new tool to Affinity Designer. So we don't need to go to the stroke settings every time when I control the pressure. We can do it directly by using this tool here in the tool panel. This tool was added recently, but now they kind of add a few extras and adjust this tool to work a bit better. We can finally do a local reset here from the top as well. So that was missing. Now we got the proper reset button. And there are also a few smaller changes here and there with this tool. So overall, they managed to work with this tool a bit longer and put it more up to the standard, like this missing reset button before. All right, so that's what it is. As I mentioned, we get just scraps. Update 2.6 was focused on Affinity Photo that I already covered in the yesterday video. So don't forget to check that. And Affinity Publisher. I will cover that, hopefully, maybe tomorrow, or maybe I need two more days to play with it. We will see, that's the next video coming up, so stay tuned for this one. But for Designer, we got Stroke with Tool improved. Now the brushes got the search bar at the top, so we can search for brushes. Color Picker Tool is a bit faster, we don't need the second click for picking the color. And the biggest improvement in Affinity Designer in version 2.6 is definitely Pencil Tool. Now we can decide how it will close shapes. Not only on and off, but we can have something in between, like only near nodes will be closed and you can still draw open shapes if the nodes are far away. All right, I hope this short video on a recent update was helpful. See you in the next one.